Dementia and depression often go hand in hand in patients with Alzheimer's disease, but many don't respond well to traditional antidepressants. Dr. Malika Marshall shows us an experimental home-based electrical therapy that may be able to treat both memory loss and mood. Julie Whelan loved being a medical librarian at Harvard, but the 76-year-old had to retire when her mind started to slip. It wasn't just, oops, a mistake. It was uh, something more. And that something more was Alzheimer's disease, and like many patients, Julie started to feel depressed. Wonderful husband here that helps me, but he's got his own things he has to do, and I feel lonely. Researchers at Harvard affiliated Hebrew Senior Life say antidepressants don't work well in older adults, so they're studying the effects of transcranial electrical stimulation on both depression and memory loss in patients with Alzheimer's delivered right at their home. It is not uh, the same as shock therapy, ECT. Um, it is a, uh, it is a. Uh, delivering electricity to the brain, but in a way more controlled manner that is targeting only specific regions of the brain. A caregiver attaches multiple electrodes to a soft bonnet, which is secured to the patient's head. Gel is applied to the scalp and leads are attached to each electrode. An iPad walks them through the steps systematically. Each session takes about 22 minutes and Julie needs to stay silent and still during that time. Julie did five treatments a week for a month. Is it painful? No. She's not sure if the treatments helped, but... She's back reading now, more books than I am now. I just... Uh... <laughs> and we are seeing preliminary signs of uh, uh, improvement in depression, also some preliminary evidence of memory symptoms improvement. Julie's hope for the future? Just to uh, be able to find a way to deal with this that lets me um, still um, be happy with my family. And who doesn't want that? Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston.